A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers, once more with a pounded word. Hallelujah! A harsh one, and also an intriguing one. And my topic this morning, my story, put behind bars for speaking, thus said the Lord. And our theme, porn to win. Glory be to God. We've been winning on a constant and perpetual basis. We want to thank God for all that he has been doing over the land of Jamaica and for the revelation and for the secrets of heart that has been revealed, hallelujah, since 2020. And now we are recognizing that the people of Jamaica are coming into agreement with the prophecies that been given that has been given from 2020 until today now everyone is recognizing that truly this leader is created to be a dictator we see the phenomena of the bloggers that has been exposing the truth in this land because CVM TV, TVG and other media spaces they have been placed on the gog order they have been manipulated by this very government and if you says that you will implement laws to lock up or to sue people when you have your very bloggers who have been working behind the scene from an evil perspective, tearing down, bringing defamation of character. Remember, you had bloggers who had put my picture up and they have defamed my character. Remember, in 2021, hallelujah, you brought an allegation of a death threat that, 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 that you said I sent to you. Hallelujah. When the Lord spoke to me to tell you that you shall die, your wife and your son, you didn't tell the people that. You created a threat because you know that if a death threat come to the highest rank in the country, that is concluded death. Hallelujah. And then you're saying that people are creating false narrative against you. Hallelujah. So why can't you expose the six illicits? Why can't you expose the money that has been robbed from the taxpayer, from the people of this land? And all that is happening. What about the venom that you and Mr. Tufton came about? Is that false narrative? Is that false allegation? And the people are dying in this land from they took the venom hallelujah glory be to god then the people all over the land of jamaica they are expressing their disgust and their anger at you because they are recognizing that you are leading yourself to be a modern day dictator only a dictator wants to silence the nation everybody talk you lock them up everybody expose the evil look at royal reed he he rubbed up according to the news money from the educational department and until today is a free man the news said it hallelujah and he's still a part of your evil kingdom look at the one at um saint catherine he was in a, in a huge fraud. And all of these people in your kingdom, they are still functioning effectively in various parts of your kingdom, secretly and confidentially. So what is it that you're hiding? Why you want to close the mouth of the bloggers? Listen, the, the taxi man phenomena. I don't know how the taxi man in Jamaica hungry. Oh no, hungry, no. You see how this man is abusing you. 
on a regular basis. And every time that election come, we we'll take the five grand, the 10 grand, the 15 grand, the 25 grand, just for a full belly for a day. And then go back into the same destruction and death. I want to declare to the nation that the Obia men have never seen so many Obia men back in this government. From the Kumina, from the, um, the revival order, from all aspect of evil and witchcraft, they even send a sickness for me this week. But the Lord said, Peter sent it back to them a hundredfold. And I want to tell the leader of Jamaica, the Obiam and them, we back you, and especially RT Boss, we back you evil. RT Boss, who is a fish and a pedophile. All manner of evil. Listen, you shouldn't touch a man. I got you know, RT Boss, may I tell you that? Listen, judgment going to take you. We can tell you that. You will go down. So all of what is befalling you, and you saying that me crazy, I am is a madman. And you want me, you want to read me. What you want to read me for? The whole of the semi What you want to read me for? You semi The leader of the land and the followers semi What you want to read me for? You see, you now get this holy money. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. I rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Just like Paul who rebuked the divination spirit in a young lady that was causing fame and making money for that king. Hallelujah. Jamaica, you need to open your eyes. You notice, hallelujah, the, the young people, they are coming out and expressing their disgust and their anger. You see, the leader of Jamaica, I want, I, I want to disclose something to you. You're putting a rope around your neck. Nobody now to hang you. You see, your laws and your legislations, you're putting a rope around your own neck. And you're causing the nation to hate you even more and more. The nation is going to grow to hate you as never before. And the very thing that is happening in Kenya and some part of Africa where there are civil wars, as long as you stay in, you can't do nothing but to demonstrate the character of a dictator because what? They made you a dictator. They are the very one who call you bro God. So they are creating you as an idol, as a graven image, and as their God. When the Bible said that you should have no other God beside me. And then your followers are using the principles of the kingdom of God and pretending to be holy. So I ask you the question, which God you serve and you support Batimanism? Which God you serve? And you support abortionism. Which God you serve? I am talking to your leader of Jamaica. Which God you serve? And you support transgender. Which God you serve? And you're pursuing with the one billion dollar that was given to you from Canada to change the perception of our children, of our sons and our daughters. Which, which God you serve? And then you climb up from Bishop Delford Davis' pulpit and go on like you're righteous. It can't be the God that I serve because the God that I serve is against unrighteousness. It's against the systems of the world. You notice the amount of fishes a woman, sexuals and lesbian that back you, and opium and some of the most evilest people upon this earth, upon this land, supports you. And then you come reading Bible, behaving like you know God. The Bible declares that if you are a friend of the world, you cannot be a friend of God. 
the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. Why you want to silence the people, the nation? Why you don't want the people to talk? and to identify and to pinpoint where you have gone wrong. And you're using all laws and legislation, changing the constitution to suit you. You're an evil man. You're very evil. And to the, the followers, the hungry belly followers that have appeared. Listen, let me tell you something. You don't have Jamaica at heart. All you have is an evil kingdom at heart. You don't care if Jamaica go down into destruction. Once your party is in, listen, whether P or J, if they are evil, we're going to beat bad mind. We're going to beat and teach them in the name of Jesus Christ. So all of you coming up talking about P and P, listen, if Mark Golden was in, Supporting the Batmanism and the lesbianism. I can tell you by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, this man of God would have stood. So all of those pastors who support you, 